Hi, join me in welcoming Francine Segan to New Swan Shakespeare Center. How did you get interested in Shakespeare and food? What, how, tell me about your journey. It was interesting. I was a child psychologist, not at all in food. And because as a child psychologist, I very child centric with my kids were little. I used to love to do fun, educational things with everything. And so mealtime, of course, was wonderful. There are always zany things that I would come up with. So one day my son came home, fifth grade, they introduced him to Shakespeare. And he came home and he said, Mom, we have to do dinner with Shakespeare. And then I looked up a cookbook of that year that was published in England, thinking, well, maybe that's what he ate. And so I made that for my kids because I really then got intrigued. It was so much fun. And my son went back and told the teacher, she asked for him, instead of doing a, a written paper, that he should make a meal for the class. And so he loved doing it and the parent volunteers loved it. Anyway, word spread. A friend of mine was performing with Gwyneth Paltrow in As You Like It. And he said, Francine, why don't you do that dinner for the grown-ups? And so given that I had actors at my disposal for the dinner party, I gave them the little tidbits of information to read. And so everyone had at their place interesting information for each course. And I did the candles, no lights, no forks, all the things that I had learned. Everyone loved it. The next day, I got a phone call from Random House we heard about, this is Mary Barr from Random House. We heard that you did a Shakespeare dinner. We think it would make a great book. And she had a little bit of an accent. And so I thought it was one of the actors. And I said, very funny. And I hung up. And so she called me back. She said, I think we were disconnected. <laughs> and so I said, you know, excuse me, but I'm a psychologist. I haven't even taken a cooking class. She said, I saw some of the notes. One of the actors shared it. We we think it would be a great book. And I said, okay. And so I, I, I had done my research as a psychologist. I know to do a dissertation. I dove in, wrote more than one dinner party, kind of broke it up into chapters, gave quotes, everything that you see. The, uh, it was wonderful. Random House really let me just play exactly the way I wanted to. And then when... Um, that's the start because from that book. And it's a great book. It really is beautifully, it's beautifully produced. It has great photographs. The recipes have been updated, but they still feel like they have a, a genuine connection to the past. So I was really just dazzled. And do you have other Shakespeare projects in the works or other? Well, what I did from that book is that I did a book about ancient Greece and Rome because so much of the Elizabethan and Renaissance was rediscovering classic period. So I did a book about that. I It's still my first book and my favorite book. And so I continue to lecture around the country now via Zoom um, about Shakespeare for various Shakespeare organizations. I even did for Julie Taymor, the Broadway director, <laughs> I know who she is. <laughs> for the 25th anniversary of um, a theater company that she was on the board, she brought me in to create at the Pierre Hotel on Fifth Avenue an Elizabethan feast for 500. She got them to allow a peacock to roam through the lobby. She had um, actors dressed as wenches and scribes saying the uh, giving out some of the jokes and sayings and info that I prepared I worked with the chefs there creating and they were they really they had me sitting with with 20 chefs um and they wanted to create the most challenging recipes it was amazing what a life experience that is so amazing well we're really looking forward to hosting you at the New Swan Shakespeare Center and the Anteater Wreck Kitchen in January. Fabulous. Because I think that people will be surprised. We, we know from Shakespeare, we see that he's whimsical and bawdy. And I think they'll be surprised when they hear some of the jokes and riddles and incredibly clever things that were incorporated into dinners back then. We got to bring it back. <laughs> we need something. <laughs> we need inspiration for us all.